Hey YouTube, we're pretty excited about this here at the Reptile Barn. I've got a package in from Josh at Scales, Fins, and Feathers. I believe that's the right order. Sorry, Josh, if I messed that up. Uh, he's got a great YouTube channel that we've been starting to watch his videos. And he's got something for us in this box. Very excited, and my kids are very excited about this. Um, so let's see what we've got here. Gavin is all prepped for the surprise, covering his eyes and everything. Yes. It's very well taped. <laughs> 12 layers of tape here, but uh, it went through the USPS, so a little extra precaution was probably a good idea. Yay. Kyrie, lean back, please. Daddy, what, Gavin? Can you look now? Not, not yet. It's not open yet. Okay. Yeah, there are. there is so much tape on this. Good. So much tape on it. Is it, is it stuck? It was, but it's not anymore. It's not. It's not a snake. It's not, so it's not the scales part. It's not scales. It's not a fish, so it's not it's fins. Not fish. It's fish. What, Gavin? Um, Are you ready, guys? Can I look yeah. now? Not yet, Gavin. It is the feathers part. Feathers. Oh, 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 careful. Feathers part. Now can I look? I'm opening it, Gavin. You want to you wanna get up and look as I open it? Yeah. And gently. And, oh, he has little handles. Very, very nicely packaged. Tons of wrapping. You can, Gavin. You can look. You know what's in here yet? Oh, he covered his eyes again. That's <laughs> funny. He's like, nope, I can't see anything yet. Better cover him. Oh, did you drop your little monster over there? Here we go. I don't even know what way is up. But it shouldn't matter. So you guys on YouTube probably know what these are. All right, Gavin, you can look now. Do you know what those are? No. These are special eggs. Do you know what's going to hatch out of them? No. Little quail. Do you know what quail are? Yeah. They're a little Look bird. That, okay, that's amazing. Just look at it. Cool. Oh. They're like little tiny hay hays. Hay hays? Yep. Yeah, so guys, a little background here on yes, why the kids are so excited. Moana. Well, that's right, Moana. They love hay hay and Moana, and they've been asking us. If we could get little silly hay hays for our farm, just for months and months and months, they've been asking for silly hay hays. So we knew they'd be very excited about some. Can I watch the one? Baby <laughs> He sent a lot. Yeah. So he sent it's us. Awesome. He sent us Caternix quail. Sent us jumbos and uh, the just normal sized ones. Um, so we are setting up a space out in the backyard that we're going to have the adults. They're fine with cold, although we won't leave them out there in the winter. Although he said it'd probably be okay. But uh, we'll have a bigger flock during the summer. Uh, really, all but the coldest three or four months of the winter. And then for those three or four months, we'll cut down drastically on the number of quail we have. We'll take just a trio or two indoors. Uh, and then when it starts to warm up again, we'll put them back outside. We have an incubator here. That I've been calibrating. It's at 99 degrees, about 50% humidity. So we will stick these into incubate. Um, we'll be turning them about twice a day. We don't have an egg turner. I know uh, Josh told me it's way the best if you have a turner, but we didn't have one. And that's okay. We'll just turn them by hand uh, several times a day. Yes, we will see the eggs, but you're going to be so, so gentle, right? Right? All right. So there's little baby birds inside these eggs, okay? So you have to be so gentle. And I don't see a single cracked one, by the way. Every egg looks like it made it, which is pretty fantastic. Aren't these so cool? They're pretty, aren't they? Yeah. Be gentle. So gentle. She is being careful, Gavin. Thank you, though. Yeah. Oh, 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 that's what you should not do. <laughs> All right, so if Liz, uh, kids, I want you guys to back off now. Liz, if you'll follow me, we'll stick them in the incubator. Can We're just I using a little hope-abater. 
Uh, 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 not right now. Not but right wait now. till they start hatching, guys. We're gonna we'll see. Just grab all of them. Yeah. All right, guys. Is this fun? Yeah. That Are you was excited a... to see the little baby quail hatch? Yeah, that was a fun surprise. A fun surprise. So just you wait until they come popping out of those eggs. All right, guys. Here we are at the incubator. We decided to just leave them in the things that they were shipped in um, because they were a lot more compact that way and we'd actually be able to fit them all. If we'd done our cardboard uh, egg crates, we wouldn't have been able to. Um, so we're just going to leave them like this. We will come and turn them once a day, or I'm sorry, twice a day at least, sometimes probably three times a day. Um, yeah, we'll keep it about 50% humidity. You see we've got a bunch of soaked vermiculite in a tin or in a, in a bowl there. Just keep the humidity up. Uh, we've had it going for several days. It's been hovering right at 99 degrees and about 52% humidity, so we should be good to go. So I'm going to close it up, let it warm back up. Now, I want you to share what you just told me about quail eggs. So he said that, because uh, I was like, I don't understand. How can they How can they ship? Won't they just die if they're not incubated? And he said that they hadn't started incubating yet, that they can go 10 or 15 days. In fact, he has a video that I recommend you guys watch. We'll try and link it, where he collects eggs for a certain amount of time. I think he said 10 days maybe. He uh, keeps them in a cooler so that they stay cool, purposefully not letting them uh, begin the incubation process so that he has enough to make it worth running them through the incubator. So he has, you know, kind of one group at a time. Um, so he said that we should still get better than a 75% hatch rate, even with shipping and all the stress of that and everything. So very excited. They were basically in stasis until now putting them in the hot, humid environment, they will begin to incubate. Um, I believe Caternix quail do not incubate their own babies. They've just been domesticated for so long, they've lost that. So we have to collect the eggs and hatch them ourselves in order to keep them going. Um, and that's fine with me. So very, very excited. Thank you so much to Scale Spins and Feathers. Really excited to get these going. My kids are very excited. Uh, and hopefully in, what is it, 21 days or something like that, We'll have a bunch of um, little tiny baby quail.